Now, time, time to answer a question. And it's a question that's been vexing the nation. It's this. Which would win in a race between a car and a boy? Now, you might think the answer is obvious, but we weren't so sure. This is a really steep hill in Wales. It's the sort of place where you'll find people racing these all-terrain boards. It's quite a piece of kit made from carbon and Kevlar and specially built to travel at great speeds over rough ground. Impressive, but so's this. It's a Group N Mitsubishi Evo 7 rally car and it too is specially built to travel at great speed over rough ground. More importantly, it's got an engine, and a pretty good engine too. 300 brake horsepower, 2 litres, with a whacking grit turbo on it. Whereas the skateboard's engine is this. A 16-year-old youth called Tom. He's from the West Country. Now, we love an unfair challenge on Top Gear, so which one of these is going to be faster in a race? The Cornish teenager or the turbocharged rally car? This is the course where they'll be competing. The locals call it the Green Mile. It's a half-mile stretch of prime Welsh hillside that's been turned into an off-road racetrack, packed with sharp turns, rough ground and steep dips. And actually, the car will have a tougher time than you might think, because despite his fluffy top lip, Tom is the double world champion at all-terrain skateboarding. At full chat downhill, he can travel at 40 miles an hour. And that's a lot, especially when you haven't got brakes. Maximising the car's chances is professional racing driver Ben Collins. Here we go, this is it. Machine against Grumpy T. Oh, this is too terrible. I can't watch. The wet grass is as slippy as sheet ice, and the Mitsubishi is struggling to put down all that power or use the brakes. Not only that, the car is having to steer around the obstacles, whereas the boy is simply spearing straight down the hill. Our driver is getting murdered out there. Well, that was a blow for technical progress. The internal combustion engine trounced by an acne-rattled teenager on a plank. Now, not that we're sore losers or anything, but it's double acquits time, and we've just upped the ante. This is a Bowler Wildcat. You might remember it from a previous episode of Top Gear. It's got a 5-litre V8 engine, 300 horsepower, and a race car-style tubular space frame chassis that was designed to shrug off light knocks, like being dropped 40 feet onto its nose. This car was built to monster the Paris Dakar, so it should make mincemeat of a small hill in Wales. OK, here we go. Try this, kiddo. Much more like it. The aggressive knobbly tyres give the bowler grip and let the aggressive knobbly driver steer it where he wants. You see, sometimes you've just got to teach these youths a lesson. Show them who's boss. It's for his own good. Probably. 